can see I gave the old table a few well-deserved refreshments to make it a bit more practical. I think that from now on I will use this table more as a working station rather than a painting setup as I used it before and for painting palette and so on I will have to figure out something else but when it comes to painting I have a bigger problem and that is that most of my brushes are unusable because I haven't cleaned them in a while and so now the bristles cannot be recovered and ironically this whole video is all about how to take care of your brushes and I think I have a lot of experience how how not to do so At the very right time, my good friends at Panart Global decided to send me high quality brushes. Actually, if you want to win a brand new set of brushes and other materials, I would reckon stick to the end of the video to see how you can get some. And now, let's get started. How to take care of your brushes, which is actually quite easy and simple if you do it every time after using your brushes. Consider this as the main point. Clean your brushes after you use them. Don't let the paint dry out on the bristles, otherwise they will just keep getting harder and stiffer and doesn't matter what liquid you're gonna use to clean them off, it's just not gonna use slowly, you're gonna destroy the brushes and the bristles and yeah, that's not good. So just use them, clean them, use them, clean them, it's that simple and it's something that I have to remind myself quite a bit. Another pro tip would be if you have a brush and you use it for oil, use it only for oil. Don't work with it with acrylics because if you use it for acrylics and then you use it for oil, the bristles will get really dry and you don't want that. And speaking about acrylics, I don't use them that much uh, but for what I know, the best way to clean them is just rinse them through a cold water. But in this video I want to concentrate on how to clean oil brushes as that's mainly what I use. So basically for oil painting brushes you can use turpentine or if you can't find one you can use white spirit which is much more accessible and you can find it in every art store. After usage first clean off the excess paint of the bristles with some kind of a soft cloth and then let the bristles stay in a jar of turpentine or white spirit for a while. As soon as the rest of the paint comes off, just rinse them through a lukewarm water and that's it, you're done. Set them in a jar and you're ready. Even if you don't have white spirit or turpentine, you can just clean them with a little bit of soap and lukewarm water. But that works best if you clean them immediately after usage. <laughs> That is the way to keep your bristles nice and soft and ready to use anytime you want. Now, as I told you, you can win a free set of brushes and other complimentary art materials from none other but Panar Global. I have been working with them for quite a bit and I can tell you that they have some high quality products out there. And now we have decided to partner and create this giveaway where you can win a bunch of brushes and just go out there and create. Because we all know how expensive art supplies could be. So here is how the giveaway will work. All you have to do is just subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and go and follow Panar Global on Instagram and also my account on Instagram. And another important step is comment under this video your Instagram username and something else, I don't know, maybe. Have you ever had a experience with your brushes where you destroy them? I think we all have. And that's it, subscribe, follow, comment and the winner will be picked on the 28th of September and that's, that's about two weeks from now, so you have two weeks, win yourself some free art supplies. All the needed information will be in the description. Pretty much that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope from now on you will start taking care of your brushes and I will also start taking care of my brushes and I will see you 
in the next video.